Why don't you tell us what the Lord did for you yesterday? Hallelujah. First of all, what's happening to your, 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 your leg? Stand right here. I had a brain stroke. Ah, that's right. Yeah, and I had a tumor remover from my brain. Yes. And I was in life support for 18 days. Uh, I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't awake. I was dead. Um, and then, um, I had COVID at the same time. How long ago was this? When did this happen? July of last year. Of last year. Yeah. And um, I was there since. And uh, they were feeding me through the nose. And um, I went through a lot. I know Carlos Ortiz. Oh, yeah. he, he's a good man. One of, the, one, of the, one of the things that I remember of him, that, that because of, this, of the brain uh, surgery that I had, I never forget his his words when I was uh, a minister. You know, we had a missionary work that we fed a lot of people in Mexico and here in the valley. He said, never forget what the Lord had done for you. Keep on walking straight and he'll be with you. Brother, what's your name? Isaiah Serrera. Isaiah, and, and so you were in the ministry. Yeah, with Way of the Cross. We were doing missionary work. And I had a, a, a church that, that we picked up, Church of God of, of Miracles. And uh, there was one, only one couple, you know, old folks. And uh, the, the, you know, the, the ministry, the, you know, the, the congregation, they told me why I wanted to minister as a pastor because the pastor had passed away or something like that. And I said, well, sure, why not? From a couple, we picked up the church from 100 to 150 people to 200. It was one of the brothers that has a little company. He was the only one there. Uh, they were going to take out the uh, life support, you know, from my mouth and say, you know what, he's dead already. We can't do anything no more. My brother got right on time. He said, you know what, what are you doing? We're, we, he's dead. He's not dead. Is there any oxygen in his brain? Yeah, there's still oxygen, so he's still alive. Let him wake up. God took me when, my young, when I was young, and he said, you ain't going to die. You left me behind. You were walking too fast, and you were doing a lot of things to, by yourself, and you, 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 you left me over here. This is where I am. You went too fast, and that's one of the things that I remembered. I said, yes, I know. I left you behind, God. I'm sorry. And now it's, I mean, because of the, all the life support, you know, pipes that I had, I lost my notes. The, the, the brain stroke that I had, I mean, I can't use the guitar no more. I can't sing no more. I'm losing my left side of my uh, eyesight. I'm, I'm, I can't read the Bible. I'm trying to read it. But since I started fasting, I started reading, trying to read. God has been restoring my, my eyesight, you know. Um, you know, last night when you, you know, last night that I picked up my hands, I said, God, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to I'm gonna do it all. And I said, he said, pick it up. And I picked up my hands, and all I felt was warm water running up, <laughs> warming all over my body. <laughs> and the words that you said, it's true. I'm getting back. So I'm... <laughs> And I remember I said I have a I have a T-shirt that the that the, 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 the evangelist was preaching about the shield. I said I have I have I have this I have the shield and I have this the spot the, the you know the the I have it all and I have it in my heart. I said devil you ain't gonna throw me down no more. I'm gonna get up. And, and I mean, and when I, last night when I was praying, he said, God said, put your hands together and raise it up. 
and all I felt was pouring, uh, something was pouring in my hands, and it was just coming all over me. I said, I am going to be restored. Yes. And, 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 and that word that you said, step on, the, step on that ground, and it is yours. And the same word, he said, step back where you were, you were, you were at, and that ground will should be yours. And I say, once I get, I restore my eyesight, everything, I'm going to go out and I'm going to stand where the devil took away. And any ground that God says, I, if it's a 10-acre land, 15-acre land, I'm going to stand there. And if, they, if the owner says, what are you doing in? This is my land. This is my field. This is where God has me. And I am going to preach the word. I, I mean... I, I, I am, and, and I love you, brother. So last night, I just saw the hand of God come upon him, and the fire of God came upon him, and as he was under the glory of God, the Lord had me prophesying. How many of y'all remember that? And I was speaking into his heart, in his spirit, man, as a minister of the gospel that God is getting ready to restore. I wish I, we had the video that we could play it so we could hear the entire prophetic word. My brother, there's an anointing of heaven that's coming upon you right now. It's coming up right from the top of your head to so your feet. What no man can do, God is doing right now. That's the fire of God that's falling upon you right now. In Jesus' name, take it right now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Things of the past that have been stolen from you, the Lord is going to restore. There's been destinies and purposes that God had called you to, and you walked away from it. The enemy had come and, just, and had destroyed that vision that the Lord had put in your heart. But even tonight, the Lord re-impregnates you with his plan. In the name of Jesus, it shall come forth in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. When I'm standing at the altar... I don't remember anybody, oh, this person's that, this person's this. No, no, no. I only can speak what the Lord tells me to speak. And the Lord has spoken it, and it shall happen in the name of Jesus. And within the next six months, the next six months, no, you're going to have to tell people about the story because no one's going to see any of the effects because God is going to restore you completely in the name of Jesus. Hey, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. There's strength happening on your body, brother. There's strength happening on your body. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, test it out, test it out. What the doctor said cannot happen. One night in the presence of the Lord has made it happen. You want to see a tangible miracle, right here is your tangible miracle. <laughs>